Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes, and today I've got another quick video for you. Um, I'm going to try and make this a habit, heads it, um, a string that I don't have time to shoot a tutorial for, but I think are pockets that a lot of you guys might like. Um, I'll give you the pattern for, and at this point I think a lot of you can translate a pattern to a stringing and don't really need a tutorial so much, but I do plan to do some more tutorials. Uh, I just didn't have time. So uh, these little quick videos will just go up one head with a pattern and telling you how to string it so you can string one uh, for yourself or use it for your business or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, I hope you guys all watched the UNC Duke game last night. It was a really good game, uh, close until the end, and Duke went away with it by uh, three at the end there. But an awesome game to catch, and uh, there'll be a lot more on this weekend as well. Um, so what we've got today is a Nike Volt Lakota with probably one of the cleaner pockets um, that I've strung. Uh, he is actually switching from a traditional pocket, um, a traditional. I don't think it's Pete. I think it's just traditional. I got a chance to throw with it so I could get a feeling for what he likes. Uh, so what I tried to string him was a mid-low uh, pocket that's a little baggier that'll move a little bit for him, uh, just like his traditional did, uh, with a tight nylon up here to give him a little snap like the traditional had. Uh, so it's the Volt Lakota, all white stringing, a nine diamond top string strung on the second uh, side, sidewall hole. So there's one that skipped and I did the top string from the second hole, nine diamond, all the way across, just a regular one. Uh, so now the pattern for you guys, if you guys need to know how to string any of these knots or anything, um, there is a tutorial, so you guys can check that out. Uh, it's 15 millimeter East Coast mesh. So here we go. Um, on the third sidewall hole, so there's the top string in the second. On the third, I started my sidewall and interlocked the first 10 diamond row down to that. Skip, SI, skip, SI, 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 then a 1 with a skip in there, so you go from the SI under that diamond and down here, skipping a hole, then a 2, there's two diamonds and mesh bunch right there, really tight, then a 1, and a 1, and a tie off. So uh, you could easily replace these SIs with regular interlocks if you wanted, um, and then a, uh, a bottom string that's just the next 9 diamond row uh, that goes through all the, the diamonds through the back here. And uh, so this is going to give him a nice snap, a good one-handed cradle. It'll shift up a little bit, but it'll be nice and baggy, just like his traditional pocket was. Uh, but still have great performance. Um, so the next one will be this Warrior Evo 3 for a player on my rec team, uh, switching from this poorly strung traditional pocket to a mesh pocket. So uh, I'll show you guys how that turned out. So throw this video a like if you like the idea of these quick videos where it's just um, a quick video about a string and a pattern so you guys can string them yourselves. Um, and again, I'll try and do as many tutorials as possible. I know I've gotten away from that a little bit, and I'm going to try and get back to it. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and have a great night.